first victory of the season and dearly love to replicate the performance that they put in when they played here last season. Lucky enough to compensate on that game. Manchester United dominated possession, but Bristol City showed that they were more than capable of soaking up that pressure and hitting as and when they needed to. And in Ebony Salmon, Casey Stoney will know that they have a very, very capable number nine leading the line. She'll get things underway here. Away we go then. Manchester United against Bristol City. United have certainly closed the gap on those sides at the top this season. They now lead the table, looking to go six points clear if they can win here this afternoon. Selham back in the side. Going all the way back towards keeper Mary Earps said this week that she's dreaming of qualification to the Champions League. Certainly looks as though Manchester United could well head that way if they maintain this form. Winners and the runners-up in the Super League would qualify for the competition. It's a squad with bags and bags of talent. A squad put together by the impressive Casey Stoney. Wakes up at 4.45 every day. Read an article with her this week in the English newspaper, The Guardian. Gets home every day at 6. There she is. Says she's not feeling the pressure and that the pressure is a privilege. You've earned that pressure. Katie Zellum will have a free kick on the far side. Chloe Legazzo, the Australian, back in the lineup, wearing the mask today. Always think they must be slightly uncomfortable, those masks, but players seem to be able to forget that they're wearing them. It's in the heat of the game, you just forget your surroundings. Nearly turn up. Zellum, game already settling into a familiar pattern if you are regular watcher of Manchester United. They love to dominate possession. Long ball forward, Salmon on the run. Salmon in behind early on for Bristol City. What a chance. Well, already a warning sign in this game for Manchester United with Ebony Salmon set free. Lifted ball over the top. She managed to get in behind with her pace. Lifted the ball over Erps, who was committed to. Not too far away with the finish. Well, a super start for Bristol City, and that's exactly the tactic that they'll be looking to exploit here this afternoon. Amy Turner just got the wrong side there of Ebony Salmon on the chase. Bristol City will be delighted to have her back in the lineup here for this one. to find spaces in these wide areas. United early on looking to exploit those areas. Selham, quick glance up before playing wide. And you're sure is there. And now Jackie Grunen. Nice build up from United, playing those angled passes, but per Perfield was alive and slides away. United corner. Heath with the delivery to the back of the box. It's a good ball too. 
And it's met by Turner. Saved comfortably by Sophie Bagley. All played slightly behind her. Difficult to generate the power to send goalwards. Well, we've had chances already at both ends in this game. Could be an entertaining afternoon. United into the area. Cronin scoops on. Turner. And now the Scottish international, Kirsty Smith. Here comes the impressive Ella Toon. Nice spin on the far side by Golton. United slip the ball through the channel and very nearly Sigsworth able to wriggle her way through. Jackie Gronin with the pass to try to pick out her teammate. Arrived in England last season, Jackie Gronin, and maybe we didn't see the best of her, but playing in a slightly more advanced role now for Manchester United, looks a lot more comfortable, looks much more like the player that we thought that we might see. Always plays the game with such a big smile on her face. Delight to watch. Goldson stepping in from that wide area, utilising a ball across towards the Spaniard. Thatcher. Vernon. Heath. Just seen out of play. It's another corner on this near side touchline. Two time World Cup winner. Named this week in the FIFA World 11. Has a corner here. Taylor wanted it short. She was trapped all the way, so it's another deep one to the back of the area. This time dealt with, comes out to the edge of the box. Big volley by Gronin. Well held by Bagley. Yeah, it was a super ball in, and she caught it really sweetly on her right boot. Keeper gets across, makes a good save. Sigsworth coming back there from an offside position. United pressing hard from the front. United will have to push pretty hard in this game, you feel, to get past Bristol City. They look well set up to play in this defensive manner. All about maintaining concentration for Bristol City in this game. United will push and push and push. She says recently that her side have had lapses at the back. Certainly against West Ham, they didn't really need to concede four. I've had some time to, to have a think about uh, how to approach this game. And so far, so good. Had a really good chance for Ebony Salmon. Won't get too many of those in this game, but she has won the ball here and she charges with purpose into the penalty area. Super work by Ebony Salmon. Wins a corner. And she had a quick glance up here. She had some support in Daniels. Daniels just couldn't quite connect before the United defence were capable of turning away.
Bristol City. First corner kick of the game towards Daniels. Lanced away to safety, Salmon battling for it and will get there first. Such determination from Bristol City's number nine, but she's well marshalled there by Tobin Heath. Experienced the winner over youth. Gwernan. Oh, maybe she'd gone out of play there, but the referee happy for things to continue. Bright start for her in this game. Could be a real thorn again for Manchester United, Ebony Salmon. Target here with the glance on from Daniels, but United win it back. Jackie Burn. It's a lovely ball. Salem. Spins away from Humphrey. Looking to utilise that space on the left hand side. Bolton won't be able to latch onto that one. Has had a brilliant season, but she's not capable of achieving miracles. Well, it's a unique opportunity. That's how she describes it here at Manchester United. Casey Stoney. Every player, every staff member here because she chose them. The philosophy is hers, the environment that they work in. And so far, accelerating with incredible pace inside the Super League. Probably slightly ahead of the curve, slightly ahead of where they expected. Real credit to her. United building well on the edge of the penalty area. Zello now potentially a chance. Big hit and a super save. Palmed over the top. Bagley had to watch that one all the way because it was hit with real venom, this one. Lovely passing build-up here and Bash with the strike, which is pushed over. Golton's delivery to the back of the box, just over the head of Zellum be able to keep this one in play and she does on the far side turn up we'll hit this one turn up spinning away from goal couldn't quite find the target had the space here good first touch gave her the room to get the shot away Seems to be a policy here this afternoon for Manchester United to shoot on sight. So far, Sophie Bagley seems to be enjoying that policy that Manchester United are employing. Great performance from her so far in this game. Keeping the scoreline at 0-0. Legazzo in towards Wellings. So congested on the edge of that penalty area. United players swarming around the ball. Zellum. Now Vernon. Quite turned the pass around the corner, intercepted here by Perfield. Well, perhaps the criticism of Manchester United is that in comparison to some of the other sides, the other big sides, the top of the table, Manchester City, Arsenal, for example, and they do come up against teams bottom of the table like Bristol City they are able to 
turn it on. They do tend to win by a much bigger margin. Maybe that's why there are still some question marks about whether or not Manchester United are a side that can win the league. Credit to Bristol City, though, so far in this game, they've been very competitive. Scoreline kept level and Manchester United having to show some patience. Time and time again this season, we have seen United manage to free Leah Goldson down that left-hand side, but they just haven't been able to get her into an attacking position where she can punish this Bristol City side as of yet. Seems worth that. Now Toon. She's not quite able to get there, Toon. Sixworth got there first. United do manage to force their way forward here. Zellum. Toon. Space here. For Bagnelny back inside. Sixworth can't quite get there ahead of Rafferty. Just managed to react in time to turn away to safety on the far side. Sixworth playing right on the last shoulder of the Bristol City defence. Always looking to pick up a chance. Early on in this game, City managed to free Ebony Salmon with a long ball over the top. They haven't managed to find that outlet again. They've had to withstand some significant pressure in this game, but Zellum's given the ball away, and Salmon now chasing forward. Won't get there ahead of Erks. The right idea from Bristol City. Yeah, right-hand side. Tobin Heath now. So brilliant in possession, doesn't she, Tobin Heath? Goldson. Goldson couldn't quite get there, and it's seen out of play on the far side. United looking to build something. Sixworth demanding the ball on the corner of the penalty area. Moves on towards Zellum. Uh, yeah. Grown in confidence in the WSL. Grenner looking for the give and go. Gets it back to. I think Tobin Heath was potentially anticipating the movement from Jackie Grenner. Feeds it wide. Matthew with a chance to deliver. Turned away by Bristol City. They're defending deeper and deeper here. Bristol City inviting the pressure from United. This is exactly how they like to play the game, but can they find the pass? Can they unpick the lock? Jackie Gronin with a challenge that brings down Legazzo. Australian wins a free kick. Plenty of the ball in this game. On a back, yeah. Was part of the Barcelona youth setup for moving to Levante. Really wanted to play abroad. Delighted to come here to Manchester United. It's such a big name, such a big club, associated with success, and part of the reason why they have been able to bring in these brilliant names, like Sir Tobin Heath and. Young talent like back here coming through from Spain. Bristol City. 
have the opportunity here to come forward. Here comes Perfield. Perfield will drive one goalwards. Well, it goes sailing over the top in the end. Would have been some hit here to beat uh, Mary Earps. Clearly fancied her chances as you cut in field. So much space to take the shot. Well, Casey Stoney said after the Reading game that they had to win ugly. Hayley Ladd scored the late goal in that game to secure the three points, and they might just have to do the same here. In a tight start to this match, they have dominated possession, but United haven't carved out all that many opportunities, although they come forward here. Golton's ball into the area. Just beyond Tobin Heath. Cleared away to safety by Bristol City. It's just that final ball at the moment. They can't find that final pass to create the chance to cause any trouble at the back for Sophie Bagley. Has had to make one brilliant stop already in this game. Not too much else. Sigsworth away here. Should be shoved out of play by Palmer. As you can see, not the nicest conditions here in the north of England. The rain significantly coming down. Brilliant control. By Amy Turner. Casey Stoney has said that she could well be part of the current England setup. She's got a brilliant backstory, Amy Turner. Released by Doncaster nine years ago, told that she wasn't good enough in the game. Had a determination to prove people wrong, and she really has, forming a super partnership at the back with Millie Turner this season. Millie Turner, of course, has been involved in those recent England training camps. Really impressed. United looking to move the ball quickly through midfield. Tobin Heath was the target. Frustration from her. Pass wasn't quite right. Gave the opportunity for Bagley to come to collect. Not connecting with those late runners into the area. They have had chances time and time again to free the likes of Sigsworth, to free the likes of Tobin Heath. Final ball just hasn't quite found the intended target. Oh, that's a careless pass to Goldson. Couldn't bring under control. Lucky there that Humphrey was able to step in and now Wellings spots the space over on the far side. Allen loses out, tries to win it back, but unfairly says the referee. So he's looking to rob the ball back from Smith. Goldson lifts forward, six worth the target. Glancing header away by Rafferty, just enough. So, not perturbed in any way by the mask, fighting for the ball, but she's lost out. United can come forward. Tobin Heath looking to shoot from deep, hits one! Not too far away, well, we saw her score a spectacular goal in the game against Manchester City, and she's not too far away here. Ball given away in midfield by Bristol City, and as soon as she receives this, one thing in mind. Fears towards that top corner. Bagley flying across. Very close for Tobin Heath.
Bristol City will be delighted with how things have gone so far. Tanya Rocks to be setting up her side in a manner which is really frustrating Manchester United. They haven't been able to find a way through. A couple of times, though, they have carelessly given the ball away, though, in those areas. And United come forward with Goldson. Zellum. Can she orchestrate from the midfield? Here is Toon. Now he. Sixworth. It's good defending, though, Bristol City. Cutting off those angles for the passes. Golton drifts in field. Turns, has a look up. Here's the shot, fierce drive. It's a wonderful goal. And Lee Golton strikes for Manchester United. They've been patient, they've waited. And then a thunderbolt from the left boot of Lee Golton to get things going here for them. Well, it's this turn here to lose the defender that buys the space. And then what a strike. Some hit from a player who seems to be going from strength to strength. Leah Golton makes it 1 0. Well, it will be interesting to see how Bristol City responds here now because they have been set up to soak up the pressure, to sit back and defend. Really, always do that when you are behind. Got themselves into a good position here. Welling's ball cut out by Zellum. Perfil coming in. And Ebony, Ebony Salmon denied. United now with a chance to hit on the break. Jackie Gurnan. Tobin Heath. She's well marshaled by the Bristol City defence. Here's the goal scorer. Leah yeah, Goldson have a fine feather in her cap. Katie Zellum lifts the ball to the back of the penalty area, but slightly overhits the pass. Well, Bristol City will be fairly happy there that they have managed to deny United another goal-scoring opportunity. Have to be careful here that they don't allow the floodgates to open. Stick to the game plan. And I think when all of these new faces came in over the summer, there were plenty of people suggesting that maybe she wouldn't form part of the first 11. She's forced her way into her manager's thoughts time and time again. Salem. into the penalty area gets the cross away to Sixworth was the target at the front post best she could do was turn wide for a goal kick Rafferty okay to continue maybe just uh, caught on the studs by the studs sorry of Sixworth here Australian Garzo giving the ball away carelessly. Tobin Heath with a heavy touch and that allowed Bristol City to clear away. Gonna have to be careful though, Bristol City. They are giving the ball away inside their own half. Of course, Manchester United do have the players who can punish you, has, has already been proved in this game.
huge free kick. Good header away by Backlund. Brilliant football for Manchester United. Tune away down the left-hand side, has a quick glance up before playing the delivery in. Decides to check back to look for support. Committing plenty of bodies forwards. Oh, it's come all the way through to Tobin Heath, who's denied by Sophie Bagley. It's a brilliant stop by the impressive keeper for Bristol City. Denying one of the world's best from close range. What a chance for United to grab a second. Sophie Bagley, what a stop. Bristol City go on to get anything in this game. And she deserves the plaudits for denying Tobin Heath. Brennan. Look at her go. Here comes back, yeah. Just unable to connect with Tobin Heath. Brennan finds her intended target. Bristol City challenging back though, continuing to fight in this contest. And Gemma Heath, uh, Gemma Evans, sorry, wins the ball. Brennan. forward towards Golton, intercepted before she can get there. Palmer able to step away with it. Certainly the changes to the lineup for Bristol City here today, and there have been a few, have made a difference. One thing they are doing is raising their performance to play against this Manchester United side. And going forward, going into 2021, if they want to stay in this division, they need to show this kind of performance against sides nearer to the bottom of the table and if they can do that you feel that there's plenty in this Bristol City side to be able to survive pokes on here by two and a spin by Heath she goes one way then the other loses a marker moves on towards Toon Toon gets the shot away big deflection takes it away for a corner well she started so many more games this season than she did in the whole of the last campaign Ella Toon Latching onto this one here and very nearly grabbing a second goal for United. It? Had it not been for the deflection, may well have been 2 0. United corner in towards the front post. This brilliant defending to deny the chance, both Bagley and Rafferty coming across. Amy Turner on the slide, denied. Tobin Heath, it's a second corner for Manchester United. Zellum. Quite get the pass back from Jackie Grennan that she was looking for. And away goes Ebony Salmon. Having to shove and push to get past her opponent and unable to do that. And it's uh, super work by Anabatia yeah, not being bullied on this right hand side for Manchester United because Ebony Salmon will do that to you. She has got the strength and she has got the fight in her. It's a tough ask playing in the Super League. Every player coming to this division will say that, that it's more aggressive than a number of the championships across the world. On about you learning quickly. 
Zellum, angled ball forward. Vernon very nearly able to get there, but it's nodded away by Evans. Still United come forward. This time it's Goldson. Goldson goes towards the byline, lifts the cross, across the 18-yard box, but there's nobody there waiting. Elatoon didn't quite reach the pass. Turned away by Wellings. Tidied up though by Erps. Just look quicker in every position at the moment, Manchester United. City struggling to get anywhere near the ball. Well, it was a pass between the two from Zellum. in towards Zellum. Surely if City want to get anything from this game, they need to cut out the supply line from Zellum. She's dictating the pace of the game from midfield. Sixworth. Now back yet. Just enough on it from City and they should be able to clear. Not getting the service towards Ebony Salmon though. She's very isolated in attack. Pass away from defence needs to be better. Elatoon delicately lifts the ball on towards Sixworth. Sixworth had drifted offside, according to the assistant, on this near side touchline. up towards Sixworth, spins and spots Tobin Heat, and acres of space on the flank, chance to run at the defence, opportunity to get the cross in here, it's turned away, Tobin Heath not quite able to find the targets in the middle, rain thundering down here. So very nearly turned into trouble, manages to find a teammate on the far side. Near Goldson scrapping to win it back, and surely, well, surely a big decision here for the referee. Where Rafferty goes colliding into Leah Goldson. Didn't really seem to have much of an intention of playing the ball there. Well, I hope she's okay, but this is a poor challenge. Too many words being spoken there by Casey Stoney. We'll be happy with how the performance has gone so far, but they are only one ahead, and for all of their dominance in possession, haven't had all that many chances to trouble Sophie Bagley. 
I'm sure they'll be eager to try to create more goal-scoring opportunities and to make this a bit more comfortable, to make the points a bit safer. It does look as though Laura Rafferty will be OK. And now there will have to be surely a decision from the referee and it will be a yellow card. players have taken on board some fluids we'll now get this free kick Amy Turner and Millie Turner both forward Sixworth will being obvious target as well Ball slightly in front of Amy Turner unable to latch onto that one easily picked up by Bagley Turner heads away. Sixworth on the spin. And again, a poor challenge in a very similar area. This time it's Gemma Evans. two challenges there was Palmer and then there was Evans I think the referee has picked up on the first one from Amy Palmer again both Amy Turner and Millie Turner make their way forward Golton busying around in there as well delivery from Zellum it's comfortably nodded away by Laura Rafferty who looks like she's okay to continue which is good Turn up. Jackie Gronin. Wouldn't be too surprised before the half time whistle to see United look to step things up slightly and add that second goal. win here of course would put them six points clear at the top of the Super League table here is Toon, Toon with a chance good drive well she was given an invitation to come forward couldn't quite keep the shot down Casey Stoney saying she's given her no choice but to put her in week in week out this season impressive rise of Ella Toon So I'm sure we'll try to make her way through to half time. Will be interesting to see if she comes out in the second period. Does seem to be grimacing slightly there, holding her neck. Works wide here for a chance for United to deliver. Slightly behind all the red shirts in the middle. Comes back out to Tobin Heath. Zellum. Space now from the left-hand side potentially for a delivery. Worked on by Smith. Soon busying around, picking up those pockets of space, trying to cause damage as she likes to do. One too many touches, but United able to come forward. Zellum gets the shot away. Deflection takes the sting out of that one and it comfortably heads through towards the 
goalkeeper Bagley. Lots of shots coming in for United in the first period from outside of the area. One of those sailing into the top corner from Leah Goldson. Potentially could try to play through a few more balls into the area. There are targets ahead, the likes of Sigsworth and Tobin Heath trying to get into the area. Goldson. Toon. Zellum. Trouble is here. Bristol City packed back behind the ball and United have struggled to find a way through the forest of purple shirts. Zellum. Another shot from deep. This time into her own teammate. Smash the ball into Goldson there. Back here, lovely dummy, steps into the area, looking for a teammate here. Well, it's fine work to defend the cross and turn away. Exciting challenge at Perfield, puts the ball out for a corner. Been impressed, though, with the performance of the Spanish fullback. Zellum, good ball into the area and it's missed at the far post and glanced in. United grab a second, turn gets there. It's been coming for Manchester United, they've had to wait. Looking more and more like champions every week. Zellum arrows the ball in, nobody tracking the run and Millie Turner, what a season she's having. Well, that will do nicely for Manchester United right before the half-time whistle, as planned, no doubt. Well, hang on a minute. Ebony Salmon offside, actually. Looked like she might have just sprung the step up from the defence. Managed to slip in behind. Zellum. Oh, they're looking for three here. Tobin Heath slips into a central area. Low shot comfortably gathered by Sophie Bagley. Well, there we go. A job well done in the first half for Manchester United in the rain. Despite the terrible conditions, they continue to go from strength to strength. A brilliant first goal for Golton and then Turner with a second. Spectacular from Golton, the header from Turner. And at half-time, Manchester United leading here 2-0 against Bristol City. I'm best.